Lori. I just wanted to, uh, to take you outside with me and show you my pea shrub. You see how big this is? There's a little bit of story behind it. I'll tell it to you quickly. Um, my sister-in-law used to work for a local garden center and this shrub right here was dead. It, it was pretty sad looking. And so I decided just to plant it here to see what it would do. And little did I know that it actually got this big. Otherwise, I think I would have planted it somewhere else. But this, this pea shrub um, and the pea shrub tree are my favorites of all favorites. Um, this is also a perfect um, shrub for bees. The bees love this. And I want to get you closer. I won't take up too much of your time. But I want to get you closer because I want to show you the sweet little yellow flowers that it gives off. Uh, you see them right there? They're about ready to uh, bloom. They're about ready to open up. And after the flowers come out and after they die, I mean there's thousands of them. I don't know if you can see them, but there's thousands. This thing is huge. Um, after the flowers die, then they form a little pea pod, and that's why that's where it got its name from uh, the pea pod that it shows at the end of the bloom season. And it's uh, so they call it the pea shrub or the pea shrub tree. And what I do is I'm gonna wait until it blooms, but I trim it up nicely. I trim it up so all those uh, stragglers on the bottom they're gonna be gone, and so just at the top shows the beautiful color. This thing like took off uh, again. We, ha we had a terrible winter but apparently um, the flowers and shrubs sleeping did them good. So just wanted to share. Have a great day. Bye bye.